like it. Human music. I like it. and music. I like it.
human music. I like it. Hello, my friends. How is everyone doing? Oh, you know what? I better turn your volume up or people are going to be like, d is too quiet. We can't hear him. d is quiet. We can't hear d -Bark. Hello, my friends. <laughs> it's Monday night. It's time for another Revs Play Ever. Revs Play Ever, episode 59. Coming 59. at you. It is, um, what is it? Monday the 8th, I believe? Yeah, it's the 8th. It's the 8th. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about, to tonight, then what the hell is wrong with you? I'm talking to my buddy d -Bock, one of the featured nice. streamers in the Proper Nerds, and a truly magnanimous and wonderful and kind and generous and amazing guy. d -Bock, oh, I think what's up? What's up? How you guys doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I think I have the d -Bock email. I think I'm subbed to you. I don't know. Let me see. Everyone's doing the d -Bock email. I I think, I think you subbed to me, yeah, not like out. a week ago. Yeah, I think it just ran out. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They run out quicker than quicker than I everything. And I, I try to show support to my fellow nerds, but like I told my of wife, course. like, listen, every month I'm going to be spending a little bit of money on the credit card, throwing out some subs, yep. Yep. and uh, she's like, look, just, you've got a lot of friends. Keep it under control of my car. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go through and delete some of mine because I, I'm starting to get out of control too. <laughs> well what I do is I sub to someone and then like the next day I go and look at my subscriptions and I just hit do not renew. Yeah. You know. But uh yeah, yeah I have. don't tell the wife, but I'm like currently sub to like four or five people. <laughs> I think that's what I'm at. Four or five. It's so hard because you wanna share the love, right? Yeah. And, no, yeah. And we got what? You and I, and then six other featured streamers. Yes. Yeah. I want to sub to everybody, but I can't. I know. I'm sorry, Kairoki. I, I, I actually, I've been bad. I haven't even, I've only been over to Kairoki's channel like two or three times. Yeah, I sub to Kairoki. Kairoki's one of the only guys that I won't uh, unrenew the sub because he's the man. He's so, the I mean, man. No, he's I, the I man. I like Kairoki. He's a great guy. I just... I, I have a much harder time watching anyone in the afternoon. Like, so in the yeah. morning I wake up and there's like none of the featured streamers are ever on that early in the morning. So I've got like right. one or two people I watch first thing in the morning and then Lysane goes live and I'll watch her until it's time for my stream. And then my stream ends and then it's wife time, right? So yep. for those three or four hours, I can't watch anyone. Yeah. And then I'll usually catch like part of Rock and Rage's stream and then like, then I got stuff I gotta do. What kind of sucks for me is that I start from eight to ten, and so does network Bex link established and, with another um, streamer. Rock is usually starting at like six, I think. Right. So I mean, he starts just before me, so I'm usually eating dinner and and doing family time before I start my stream. So I, I have to miss a lot of stuff. Network link of established with another streamer. Uh, one second. Thank you very much to Rock and Rage for the host. I hope the overwatching Rage. went well. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But like the, so, the other thing is, and I'm sure you get this way more than I do. On top of 
all this other stuff. Sometimes you got shit you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why that's why like my streams I try to do eight to ten Monday through Friday, but sometimes man you just come home and you got so much to do that I'm just like, Well, there goes that <laughs> Like a lot of the time on Fridays I go out with the uh, I go out with a couple family friends to dinner and their dinners usually start at like seven and obviously they don't they don't get done before eight, so I usually cancel that and then if work is busy then I just come home and go to sleep. What are you gonna do, <laughs> right? You, you can't you can't do too much and then like the other thing too is you got to keep up on discord you got to be like yo what's up to everyone on discord yes um the other the other day we were talking about stuff in moderator chat and you were not even gone for a long time maybe like yeah maybe like 20 hours you weren't yeah. in discord for maybe yeah. 20 hours how many messages did you come back to um I, God, I can't even tell you how many messages, but I can tell you it took me about 50 minutes to, to read them all. 50, 5 zero. <laughs> Yeah. And I read every one of them, but I'm like, oh, my God. So many messages. I was at work, and then, you know, it was, it was like crazy. Ugh. I felt bad, too, because I was sitting there. I'm like, oh, shit, d hasn't even said anything on Discord <laughs> in, like, 12 hours. He's going to come <laughs> back, and he's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> You, you know, most of the time I usually turn on my Discord while I'm at work so I can try to keep up with everybody. Um, and it was just that day was so busy that I was like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. I'll just get it when I get home. And when I got home, I'm like, holy shit. I told the wife, I'm like, well, ignore me for a while because I'm going to sit over here and read this shit because it's going be, <laughs> to be a while. Uh, yeah. And 99% of the time doing that is fine. You know, like, I'll catch up later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, it was. It was quite a bit, but I, I have to tell you, you and Loina make me about piss myself every time I start reading the banter back and forth with you guys. <laughs> it's so much. Oh my goodness, it's great. <laughs> Loina and I have a very special relationship. You know, Loina was the very first guest on Resful ever. Yeah. Episode one was Loina. Yeah. Shout out to Loina. <laughs> yeah, he's sick. Poor Loiny pants. He's sick. Aww. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, Debach does run the Proper Nerds website, which you can find at www.propernerds.com. Yes. And uh, I had a couple questions for you about it, if you don't mind me asking. Sure, absolutely. Shoot away. So, you and AJ have been working together, and it looks amazing. I love it because I love that it's it's simple and informative. Like, some websites yeah. you go to, and it's like, there's menu bars and you don't know where to find all the stuff right like I, right. I like the idea of keeping um i like the idea of keeping the website rather clean and and not overwhelming but i did right. have this idea so the idea would be something along the lines of um like so i think we were talking and i if, th if this is something you don't want error, that's fine. You were talking to the maybe about setting up a site for her, right? Like a website for her, for her blog. Right, right. right. Is that okay to talk about? Uh, as far as I know, yeah, it's live okay. actually at themaybe.com. Okay, great. So you also have a blog section for the Proper Nerds website. Right. But no, we don't right. really use it, right? Not yeah, not yet. Well, or at all at the moment. <laughs> at all. Um, I mean, I I write, but it's not like my stuff is short and and far few in between because it's like I got so much other stuff to do. <laughs> Maybe see if Sammy or AJ would be interested in that as moderators. Yeah, just yeah, idea. absolutely. Uh, yep. But the other thing I was thinking is how easy slash hard would it be to have different sections? So, like for example, what if there was a section like past podcasts, and you could go there and it would just be a link to like all the previous episodes of the Red Spill Ever that I've stored on YouTube, or I keep telling Lassane to put the Finer Things podcast on YouTube to archive them, you know, like, that could have its own thing, or right. Drinking with Friends. Yep. Um, I personally don't think it should be too much of an issue, but there hasn't been too many updates uh, as of right now because uh, I don't want to say AJ and I because I don't have too, too much to deal with it, but, uh, AJ has some stuff up his sleeve that he's working on, and uh, he's he's like swamped right now at at uh, you know his private life. So 
I haven't really touched too much of it just because the fact that I think that some of it's going to be reversed anyway. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I, yeah. I have 100% faith in you, and uh, yep. likewise, I've been friends with AJ for years, so I'm... Oh, yeah. You know. AJ has been a blessing to this whole thing because when I started it, I thought that, you know, I'm going to do this badass thing for our community. I'm going to start this thing, and then... I'm basically going to update it, but minor updates in this. And AJ basically came to me and said, you know what? I did this for a living. Why don't we do this shit? And we knock this out. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Like, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's I'm so excited. I'm a novice and he's a professional. So, I mean, according to Kairoki, AJ is a leg end. A leg end. A, he's a leg end. A leg end. <laughs> Isn't that a foot? Um, or an ankle? Yeah, yeah I guess. Or yeah, a toe. Guess. Toes would be. <laughs> AJ is a foot. It's a foot. Yeah. So there we go. We, we Now we know. AJ is a foot. Yes. I've always wondered if I was going to be a body part, what would I be? And then I was like, well, probably just an asshole. You know what? I'd probably be the same. <laughs> you know what else I just learned? Uh, dude, and I apologize. I know I'm bouncing around like crazy, but. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. This, today is one of those days where I'm going to be doing that a lot, and I might come back to something we said five minutes ago. You know, I I, don't know, I'm just, I, I, uh, I let everyone know, uh, just to let everyone know, uh, first and foremost, one, I've been having really bad internet issues, so there is a possibility that the podcast will drop out. If it does, I apologize. It's my internet. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm at the mercy of my stupid fucking ISP. Second of all, I have a really bad headache, so if I seem a little out of it, I apologize. It's nothing to do with Debach. Debach knows how much I love him. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> um, and it's also the it's the headache is also making it hard for me to kind of focus on one thing. So it's like as soon as I have this thought, I jump into it. Boom! Jump into it. I like it. Um, and then he just lost it. <laughs> I did just lose it. How you doing, brother? Uh, oh, I mean, I'm great. <laughs> I think I'm doing just a little bit better than you. I'm tired, but I think just a little bit better than you at the moment. Yeah, you've been working, like, legit, like, crazy hours. And, of course, yeah. let's not forget, you got a newborn and a two-year-old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. D-Baby is doing well. He's a giant, solid baby. And I tell you, Alexis is learning more words day in, day out. She's... She's now talking, and I am going to point out, because I think my wife is watching, and I think I hear her laughing in the back of the bedroom, that uh, I have a very big potty mouth. If anybody has caught my stream, uh, I apologize personally. I have a potty mouth. I've always tried to keep it under wraps, but I can't because it's just – it's natural for me. So when the baby, the baby being Lexus, was born, everybody always trashed me that I'm going to teach the kids – to swear and it's going to be my fault and they're going to swear and I'm like listen they're not going to swear because of me I can, I, I can promise that well the other night the other night the wifey was sitting at the table and I had stood up to go get a drink and as I stand up my wife drops something or does something at the table and she says oh shit and Lexus looks right dead in her eye and yells oh shit and I look at her and I said I don't even want to hear the fact that it's going to be me anymore because you just did it yourself and there's only a first time, one time, and you, ma'am, have got it. That's so right. So shout out, shout out to D-Box Wife for making Lexus swear for the first time. Good job, D-Wife. <laughs> Good job, D-Wife. Yes. Yay. Yes. A lot of applause. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, so, I totally lost that train of thought that I was going on because I was like, oh, let me, before I go on this train of thought, let me explain about my internet. And whatever that train was, it is God. Yeah. Yeah, well, so with the babies and with work, I mean, my work is 12 hours a day anyway. Uh, luckily, I only work about half of the two weeks. So, you know, seven days out of 14. But those 12 hours, man, <sighs> forget about it. And then d -Bock wife bombs the podcast and gives him a knuckle sandwich. She wouldn't <laughs> dare. She wouldn't have the guts to show up on the stream and give him a knuckle sandwich live. I double dog dare her. <laughs> she probably will. She, pro <laughs> she probably will. Myris Bird, calling out your wife in front of 11 viewers is a winning strat for sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> I like I like D-Wife instead of D-Bach, personally. Because she's well, D-Wife. She's D-Wife, yes. She's D-Wife, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, but I, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I, I was just going to say, but D box been me since like probably middle school. I think the beginning of middle school. So that's just me. <laughs> Makes sense. So you have to like D box more than D wife because I'm D box. We listen. Uh, one thing I've learned about Twitch and especially the way your viewers interact with you. The more they like you, the more they enjoy seeing you uncomfortable and in pain occasionally. Yes. Right, Myris? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god. That that fail video he put up, oh my god. Every single time I watch it, I, I cringe. I, I just cringe. And I'm like, oh, oh, for everybody else that's on it. <laughs> I, I very rarely let regret take any part of my life right like i try to live my life righteously and oh of course you know and then if something happens you you say to yourself okay well i made a bad choice and i'm gonna try to learn from it but not live in regret oh right. my god one of the things myris clipped i know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> i know exactly Every time I see that clip, like the hair on my arm stands up, and I just go like yeah. this. Oh, like, like, how could I say something like that? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about too, right? The, I know the exactly what you're talking about. Yep. And it wasn't even the part where I was talking about I could kill a kindergartner. Not that I don't care about that. No, yeah, that 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 doesn't even matter. It was just it was it the was, rock and was rage just... part of it. Where I'm like, yeah, that oh, was God. That was it. <laughs> so cringy. And I think every because of Myris, I think everybody knows that clip now. I don't like back then. I had no idea about it until I watched the Twitch fails, and then I'm like, oh man. Mm -hmm. oh. Now that being said, <laughs> let me just be clear on something. That you know, it was one of my clips. If I wanted to, oh, I yeah. could have deleted it long before. Oh yeah, but, of course. Of course. You know, you. But I mean, it, it's it there. is what it is. It it happened. What are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's more than I'm I. I can't believe I was so drunk and so, like, crazy that I actually said that than anything else. I was going to say, if it was more or less, like, just, like, right this second, like, right here on the on the plaver, you said some shit like that, I can understand where it would be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But, I mean, it was during a drinking with friends, so what are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. You know, Arcade that kind of stuff. Out of nowhere. Today's was cringy, too. I finally muted muted something you said. I don't remember. Did I say something cringy today? Hmm. It was probably because oh, there were so many cat puns. So I don't know if you got a chance to, to watch it all today. I was playing this game called Cat Quest today. And it was actually a surprisingly fun game. But it was like these little cartoony cats like running around doing Legend of Zelda type gameplay, right? Yeah. Legitimately a fun game. But the cat puns were out of control <laughs> and they were so bad myris had to leave the stream he's like i can't myris, i can't watch this anymore myris is like i'm done with this yeah let's just be done <laughs> that's awesome uh talk to me later myris i want to know what it is because i don't i don't remember much of friday D did you see the 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 picture that someone posted from the the friday drinking stream of five girls going like this and me going like, yes like i've just yeah. got a beer and i'm like you just had your drink, like, yup, nope, nope, done with this, too. <laughs> were they doing the whoop whoop? No. Or was that just a... They were talking about something womanly, I don't remember what. And they're gotcha. like, oh, my uterus is tingling, it's all like this. And then, like, someone else did that, and then they're like, oh, are all of our uteruses tingling in unison? And they started doing that. <laughs> and I'm just like, pouring a beer. Just, don't mind me, I'm just pouring a beer. Just fill it up. Yeah. Fill it up. <laughs> I um I got I got a little drunker than normal on Friday. I'm not gonna lie. I tend to not really um not I'm not really around. I usually stop in to show my other proper nerds love, but uh, it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. So I, I tend to just stay out of it and uh kind of do my own thing. But most of the time I'm streaming anyway so i can't tune in even if i wanted to but do you mind if we go into that a little bit uh you know sure okay sure. so you don't drink at all none okay none. is there is there a reason for that that you don't mind sharing uh 
basically it wraps itself around I just don't like the taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wish there was more of a story like, oh, back then my family used to do this and I had friends. That, yeah, no, it's none of that. It's really I just don't like the taste of it and I'd rather spend my money elsewhere. Um, but at the at the same time, it's uh, I just I tend not to go around it just because of the fact that I'm like most of the people that drink drink to have fun and or get drunk. Um, which is the two two main things, but people get a little bit um, as as everybody knows. I mean, looking at the past streams, when you get tipsy, you get like a little bit more off scale, which is I would too if I was if I was doing it. But the sober part of me is like, okay, I know this is that talking, so I'd prefer just to just stay clear of it because. I don't want to say nothing sober and then have somebody say something not sober and then have some bullshit happen towards the end of it. You know what I mean? I think all of us have so, had that time where we were the designated <clears throat> driver for our group of friends and you're just like... Yeah, why am I... Like, man, I wish I could just take some shots right now because these guys are just off the chain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Solid Gamer says d Hi, how you doing? Hello, Solid that, Gamer. Uh, one of your regulars? It's good to see it. I think so. I think he is. I haven't seen you in a bit, though. I haven't seen you in a bit, but I did take two weeks off for Christmas and and New Year's uh, because I found that just dealing with family stuff and running uh, in between houses back and forth was kind of uh, time consuming. And I was just like, you know, what? I ain't got time to try to juggle both worlds. Yeah, you had to do quite a bit of traveling for uh, the holidays. Yeah, where I live. um, And we could use very, very vague states. You know, yes, we don't have to yes. Do any... <clears throat> oh, of course. But where I live, like, uh, it seems all together. Like, it seems very close together. But it pretty much takes you a half hour, 45 minutes to drive to uh, where everybody else lives. Like, I live on one side of town, and they live on the complete opposite side of town. And it's re- if there was zero traffic, um, it probably wouldn't take more than, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes to get there. But because of the traffic, the lights, and... And all that shit, it it takes forever. So whenever you're doing holiday stuff, they're like, "Oh, I gotta go here, and then I have to go over here, and then I have to go over here." I'm like, "Yeah, let's just do it and and forget about it." Yeah. So I, I thought you meant uh, also, didn't you have to drive basically across the country to visit family for the holidays, or did you not for the do holi- that? I did that just before the holidays. Oh, okay. All right. I, so I it wasn't was necessarily somewhere. In yeah, there. it it wasn't really necessarily for the holidays, but I went back to Michigan. I drove to Michigan um, recently. I remember now in my brain, a little off topic. I remember where Solid Solid Gamer was. Solid Gamer watched um, Life is Strange with us, and when he said, "You will never see me as I work when you stream," that's why he told me this will be the last time because I'm I'm off my break and I'm going back to work. Yes, uh, I remember. That's. Uh, that's always that's always wrong. I have uh, one or two people that I'm like that with. Uh, oh, my, there's a really awesome streamer in Team MZ named Oh My God It's Sabby, and yeah. she's in. Um, God, I'm gonna <laughs> screw this up. I, I always. <laughs> it's not Taiwan. It's not the Philippines. It's um, Southeast Asia. Just say she's in Southeast Asia. So she's exactly 12 hours ahead of me. Right? Oh, wow. So wow. <laughs> a lot of times she gets home from work and then she starts her stream and she'll stream for like six hours. And I'll pop in and she, like, so I mentioned earlier on that I have a couple people that I watch when I first wake up. Yep. And yep. a lot of times I'll pop in and I'll be like there for half an hour just as she's finishing her stream. Because, you know, for her, it's, she's get, like, well, I got to work in the morning and it's 10 o'clock at night, you know, nine or 10 o'clock at night. And, yeah. Yeah. It sucks, man. Like the world, uh, especially with Team MZ, uh, which really got me going. Like I said, shout out to Kairoki. Me and Kairoki met almost instantly in Team MZ, and we found out that our personalities are pretty, pretty rock solidly alike. Um, so that's why we we hang out so much. But the problem with Team MZ is most of them are UK, or uh, I won't say most because now it's it's enormous. But half of them is UK. Yeah. So a lot of the people that I'm friends with are like five or six hours either are ahead of me. Right. So when I'm streaming at 8 p.m., it's like 2 a.m. where they're at. Right. And I'm like, oh, man, because 
you know, as much as I want to tune in and they want to tune in, it makes it super hard. Yeah, I've definitely caught that myself, which is another thing that's very strange. Um, I don't know if you've already had a chance to watch the Team MZ podcast, but I'm the um, I'm the host. Just once or twice, yes. I'm the host of that podcast yep. as well, and uh, it gets weird in the sense that, like, this last week, for our very first Streamer of the Week podcast uh, of this year, yep. we couldn't do it on Friday night. The, the guy's like, look... I'm in the UK. I work in the mornings and I've got family. I live with my elderly mother and take care of my mother. I can't, I can't start a stream at one in the morning. Like, uh, you know, there's no way. So we settled on doing it for five o'clock in the afternoon, my time Saturday, right. which was 10, which he's like, yeah, my mom usually is going to bed around then. So that if I'm talking for an hour, then that'll be fine. Right. You know, but. yeah. It it makes it it makes it just a little hard but but i mean how awesome is it considering the fact that like we're actually connecting with people around the globe like it's no it's no longer just like right here everybody that's close to you knows where you're at like we're literally we got friends in russia we got friends in the uk we got friends in like all these places and it's all you know they come every day just to say hello that that to me just blows my mind did you ever see the movie uh, Cable Guy with Jim Carrey? Yes, very long ago, but yes. 100% prediction of the future. At the end of the movie, he makes this, like, he's on a satellite dish in the rainstorm, and he's screaming this insane, rambling babble, and literally everything he said is 100% the way things shaped out over the next 20 years. <laughs> it's weird, man. It's it is weird. Yeah. When, when when shit like that goes down, you're just like, what in the hell was this writer thinking when, when they wrote that? Because obviously, that's exactly what happened. And I mean, I think sometimes, sometimes it's an accident. Like, sometimes they're like, oh, man, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, we're sitting at home and when we answer the phone, this face pops up? Yeah. And, and then you skip a few years ahead and here we are. And not only are we talking face to face on a technical, you know, telecommunications line, but we're also streaming to the world. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's it, it's so nuts. And I, the one thing that he said at the time. So when that movie came out, one of the big games that was in the arcades, arcades, mind you, the cabinets with the joysticks that stood upright, yes. was Mortal Kombat. The first yep. one, the first Mortal Kombat. And he's Very like, sure. you'll play Mortal Kombat with your friend in Taiwan. And it's like, yeah. I mean, Mortal Kombat X is a game people stream and yep. play with yep. other people all around the world. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Speaking of old arcades, though, I'm glad to see a uprise of them. At least around here, we're starting to get uh, we're starting to get the old school arcades back. Except the only thing I don't like is instead of like two tokens that are like 10 cents a piece. It's like swipe for a dollar a play. And you're like, yeah, okay. But at least they're coming back. Like we actually have two places around here that it is a pretty decent arcade now. Yeah. So uh, shout out to those. We had one in Buffalo before I moved out. So this was 10 years ago now called Dave and Buster's. And it was amazing. It was an arcade, a restaurant, a bar, and a bowling yep. alley all in one. Yep. I think we have one down here. Yeah. Battletoads, yep. Double Dragon, yeah. I didn't like Battletoads, but, uh, you know, one of my favorite games was uh, the Simpsons game where you could play with four people all, all at the same time. I don't think I played that one. That was one of my favorites. It was like a beat-em-up style game. That and Altered nice. Beast, oh my god. If I think about how many quarters I put into Altered Beast, I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, rise oh from the grave. Isn't this so much better just to turn on your computer and play anything you want now for free. Well, so this actually that actually dovetails into something that I've always said about why I stream. For me, video games were always a social experience. Like, my parents bought me a Nintendo. Well, they I mean, they bought it for me, but basically, I had to work all summer, and they would keep track of the chores I did and how much help I did and so on and so forth. Right. And yep. every time I did, they would, uh, there was a chart, like a graph paper chart that they had on the fridge okay. and instead of giving me any money all summer long for anything i ever did they would say okay this is worth one point or this is worth three points or whatever and when i sense. made 150 points they uh towards the end of the summer they bought me nintendo that's awesome and with the understanding awesome. that it was for the whole family not just for you yeah I guess it's not just for you yeah. but we're gonna get it yeah <laughs> hello simmer mom how's it going 
But, Hello. But here's the thing. And my mom, my dad was vehemently opposed. He's like, I, he goes, Peter should read a book, not pl- sit in front of the video box. That's what he used to call TV. Yeah, the video box. The video box. Um, but my mom was very pro because she goes, no, no, no. These are, video games are a socializing agent because he'll play with his friends and this is a, you know, like, and they did. They used to monitor how much I would play. They wouldn't let me just sit inside on a nice day and play video games. Right. They're like, no, it's nice. Go outside. You're not allowed to be on the computer or on the Nintendo. I am so glad my parents never did that to me. <laughs> I'm so glad they did because I had right. it and I was able to play it if it was, you know, 20 below zero out in Buffalo right. that happens or if yeah, it was raining course. or whatever. And if my friends come over and we could play it together. But then when my friends left, they're like, okay, turn off the video games. I was, yeah. you know, that was, it was a, so, so for me, Video game was also always a social experience, and that's what Twitch is. It's a, I'm right. sharing my video games with other people. Oh man, and we all love it, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, back when I was in, speaking of a of a place that was like a bowling alley and all that stuff, there's a place in Memphis, Tennessee, that they bought a old like uh, old Walmart building or old Kmart building, but they bought the whole thing out, and on the inside of it, it's called like. Um, like something, something massive pizza or some, some, something along the lines of like pizza place. And when you go there, you walk in and they have these auditoriums where it's a all you can eat buffet of pizza. So like you walk in, you pay for your pizza and you get a, a bunch of plates. You go through this line and you get all the pizza you want. And then all these auditoriums, there's like six of them, um, one set in like the 60s. So the tables are like cars and then you're sitting at a drive-in watching the movie uh one of them's like your kitchen so the actual dining area is like you sitting at a, at a kitchen table or a counter and then the, you know etc et well then when you go to the back they have gas go-karts a full gas go-kart track on the right they have all the arcade in the in the left and then they have like a mini um putt putt golf they had mini bowling alley lanes and all this shit and it was like I don't know, thirty dollars for thirty dollars for like the meal, and then you could pay like twenty or twenty five dollars for all you could play card. Oh my god, it was awesome back when I lived there. I went there a couple times, and I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta come back more, and then I moved. Yeah, then you moved. <laughs> then, you, then I moved, and I'm like, well, damn it, that must sucks. be nice to live with their civilization. Here's what I have I in t- my area. Network link established with another streamer. Oh, let me just real quick do a big shout out for Giz. Thank you so no. much, Giz98, for the host. Let's much go. appreciated. Last playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, Giz nice. is a really great guy. If you don't know him, toss him a follow. He's a he's a great guy. I really appreciate it. I actually you. don't, and I will, actually. Yes. Will. Hashtag Gremlin Army. What up, Gremlins? Um, it uh, It's not midnight here, so you're free to eat. Uh, and we won't, we'll keep the water away from the gremlin army. So that way they don't, they don't multiply. And what's the other rule? Um, don't get them wet. Don't feed them after midnight. What was the third rule of gremlins? Dude, I'll be honest. I don't even remember. Uh, I haven't seen that movie in so long. So, so long. Yeah. I can't remember. There were three rules. Uh, That's all I remember. That's all I remember. (laughs) Toasty hosty. Coming in. Toasty hosty. So, so hype. So to the, yeah. for anyone joining us, uh, I am Rev Dose Rev. You're on our channel, on my channel right now. The follow button is yes. right up there. If you want to toss me a follow, it'd be much appreciated. And I am talking to my wonderful, amazing friend Debak, who is at twitch.tv slash Debak one nine eight nine. That's Debak nineteen eighty nine. Uh, yes. Don't feed after midnight. Don't get them wet. Don't expose them to sunlight. Yes. Sunlight. That's what it was. Thank you, Giz. Good call. God, I don't know why. And we were just sitting here talking about like '80s arcade nostalgia, and and then he comes yep. in with the Gremlin <laughs> Army O's. So see, that's that's why I, I like Nintendo so much. Speaking of that, is because like I could only play Mario for so long, like at, at a time. So then I would be like, you know what, I'm bored. I'm going outside. Uh, but back when the PlayStation era came about, oh man, forget about it. I could sit in the PlayStation for hours, hours and hours and hours on end. Um, but my parents told me for the PS2, you got to buy it because I ain't buying any shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I went out and I worked my little butt off and I came up with the money, but it kind of backfired on them because whenever they wanted to ground me, they couldn't. 
I got to uh, I, I have detected I just gotta a say, new follower dude, for the channel. A 12 and a half hour stream or a 12 hour oh, stream hit God. 250 followers. That is amazing. Damn. I did a, that is awesome. I did a nine and a half hour stream once and it was all for charity. Like everything I made went to charity. And that was like, I was toasted for two days afterwards. I could never do. Dude, back when I first started streaming a couple years ago, I never actually tried. It was just more or less like I'm playing this game. Let's turn it on and, and stream. And I would stream. I, I still play out. I still play games for if I if I'm off. 8, 10, 12 hours, easy. But now that I actually care about my streaming and I actually take it seriously, I don't think I could do a 12-hour stream without a lot of planning, Give a lot second. of stuff going on. Ryan wants to see the tattoo. So. Heck yeah. Uh, I think it came out real nice. There's one or two parts that I th I'm thinking about going and getting touched back up, like the 7... Uh, yep. Some of the ink didn't really fully take for some reason, but you can't really see it. Like Network it's, link it's established being, with another streamer. It's me being really anal retentive about it. So my wife is like, yeah, you could go and have him touch it back up, but I don't think you need to. And I'm like, all right, maybe I don't. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, it came out really good, Ryan. It looks really good. It Dawson does look nerd. good. That's me, Dred. Good to see you, buddy. I'm too old. Yes, Retro Ogre. Yes, exactly. Retro Ogre is another experienced gamer who understands the joys of the NES era and arcades and so on. I'm so too forth. old to do a 12-hour stream. You're never too old. You're never too old. I did a six-hour stream today, and I was like right at about hour five, five hours and 45 minutes in, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to end. Uh, that was that was pretty much <laughs> it. Oh, and thank you so much to Lissane for the whole. Lissane. And thank you Yo. so much. Look at all this, everyone coming over. Lissane totally named a female cat after me in her Sims game, and I make the cutest babies. Also. The cutest babies. Lorna, you missed it. We were talking about you for the, like, the first five minutes of the podcast, actually. Yes, we were. So. We were like that Lorna guy in his autisticness. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for everyone coming by, stopping by, showing the love. Uh, once again, I am Rev, twitch.tv slash dose Rev, but my amazing, amazing guest is Debak, one of the featured streamers in The Proper Nerds. If you don't know about The Proper Nerds, we invite you to join our community Discord. Uh, it's a great time. we got a couple featured streamers. We have a lot of fun there. It's a badass it's, time. It's you awesome. Should, just, definitely... just check it out. And we don't use at everyone and at here. So you don't get all those stupid notifications. If you get a notification, it's because someone is specifically talking to you, which is nice. Yes, which is very nice because when you join other Discord channels and they pop up and it's just like your phone just ding, 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 and you go back and it's just literally, hey, everyone, I just wanted to say hello. Yeah. Oh, my God. So uh, <sighs> he's not really on Twitch, but a, a good friend of mine just posted a screenshot. He's in the Army, right? And he just posted a screenshot, and he goes, my company just discovered Discord and set up a company Discord channel. And he posted a screenshot, and it was like, hey, everyone, beautiful weather we're having. And then it was like, yeah. And then someone responded like, yeah, so-and-so. I don't know where ev at everyone else is, but it's nice here and blah, 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 too. And then the next person, like, at ever, at ever. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, like... Whenever Whenever I literally get into a Discord from anybody, I immediately go to notifications and I mute them all except for at me's, and then I suppress here and everyone. I, I do it to every channel, it doesn't matter, and everybody's like, well, you got to leave the notification. No, I don't. No. No, I don't. I can check them when I feel like it because I need I need to check them when I have time and not on your time. Yeah, yeah. And. Oh my god, dude. I would immediately leave that Discord, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I have every single Discord that I'm in. I'm probably in about 35 different Discords. Uh, yeah. I have every single one, including my own, muted. Because, yes. like, yeah, same thing. I I'll check when I got time. <laughs> but, I know there are some people who don't mute them. And and so we, as a policy, do not use at here. Yeah. There's only two and people in the entire Discord that have the ability to even do it. So... Yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad we don't. I'm glad I I can't because I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't even bother. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I also I don't know if you caught this week's Team MC podcast. We were talking about that a few minutes ago. We changed up the way we're doing the Streamer of the Week podcast for Team MZ2, which is really cool. Now, instead of talking to the Streamer of the Week at the end of their week, we announce who the Streamer of the Week is at the beginning of the podcast, then talk to them immediately. That way they get all the followers for the whole week that they are the Streamer of the Week. That makes more sense. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense because then you'll actually have a lot bigger of a following going into it yep. from the people that watched it. That's that's good. Yeah, I it like was a that. necessary change. It was kind of, We were doing it kind of backwards. And the only reason I yeah. kept doing it that way was because that was the way it had been set up beforehand. And I made one right. or two comments about it, but like it kind of never really went anywhere. And then, yeah. But then I think they were discussing how to do it, and they just decided, all right, we'll take a break at the end of 2017. Well, I remember... And then see, I remember when you were talking about uh, Team MZ... Back when I like first started uh, with the proper nerds, and talked about how when you started it was like seven hundred people or whatever, and like now it's grown into this big old thing. But even just a little bit of time that I've been there, I've only been there, uh, give or take six months, give or take, and it's already almost doubled in size since I've been there. Like it is enormous, and like now before I could actually go into the the team talk and understand like who's who's doing what and where, and I know who people are, I'm lost. Every time I go in there now, they got a whole, it's it's enormous. So Ryan wants to know what you stream. So why don't you uh, talk a little bit about what people can expect on your stream, since there's a lot of people who are don't know you. Okay, well, uh, I used to stream just a whole bunch of uh, multiplayer games and whatnot, but I now that I've taken a, a step back and, and looked at the streaming, uh, I, I tend to stream a lot of single player games now and it's not anything like uh, like this game or that game it's more or less if it's single player and I have it uh, I'll throw it up there if I like it I'll keep playing like right now I'm playing um, Watch Dogs 2 I'm trying to do a playthrough of that Watch uh, underscore dogs Yes, and I did change that, except for the fact that the game, <laughs> the game is listed on Twitch as Watch Dogs 2 without the underscore. So, bastards. Um, so yeah, so I, I jumped through a lot of that stuff. Uh, I know I just got a game uh, through Coyote Wildfires giveaway that is not a game I, I generally play, but I'm going to jump on it. I think it's called... Um, uh, it starts with an A, I think. Antagonist? I don't, I don't know that one. Coyote Antagonist, does a lot of giveaways. I know that. Yes, he does. So, um, so I do that. Um, I do play a lot of Rocket League. Not usually on stream, but those are my chill days. Like, I don't really feel like doing much. So I'm playing this game, come chill and talk. Uh, I do stream a little bit of PUBG, just a little bit. But like I said, mostly going to be single player, just random games. PUBG is so addictive, isn't it? Dude, now that they have officially released it, and it has came out um, on PC officially, like the just them optimizing it to 60 frames a second and finally getting their vaulting in, oh it changes it changes the game a million percent. I hated the game before. Uh, not hated. Hate is the wrong word. I disliked the game before because of the fact that it was just like I'd be standing in a lobby with. You know, my computer that's a, like a six core, 12 threaded computer with a 1080 Ti in it, and I'm standing in a lobby of 100 people with 38 frames a second, and it's skipping down to like 27. And I'm like, I can't even function with this bullshit. This is just too much. Um, then all of a sudden, they come out with the game officially, and they're like, they don't even tell nobody. They're just like, oh, this is official release. And now it's like every setting is maxed out, and I'm at 60 frames a second no matter how many people are around me. And I'm like, it took you guys the entire time that you were here to do this? Yeah. Now I actually want to play your game. Now, that being said, the other thing that pisses me off about Battlegrounds is they've made it where um, it's more or less for long distance. Because whenever you get into a scrap that's like one-on-one -on -one within the desync is just, it's still, you could tell it's still just not... 100 percent there yet it's and i don't not, know if it ever my biggest problem with that remains with PUBG is the hackers and it, yeah dude like i know they claim they're banning accounts but the problem is, is it's it's the people who play in eight like i've said this many times china should be region locked to just china because what yes. happens is in china they can't they can't 
enforce any of their rules, right? So people go to these video game cafes and log on to these accounts and the IPs are constantly different and like they they can't ban these accounts. And yeah. so people just plug in their USB thumb drive that has their auto aim bot and just start playing and it, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's so terrible. And the the player base of the game right before launch showed it. So like eight months ago, uh, I think it was something like eighty seven percent of the people playing were either in the uh, North America or mm -hmm. the UK. That was like 87% of them. And then um, just before launch, it was like 12, only 12% 12 of the players were in the US. I, really? I know those aren't exact numbers, but it was, yeah, it was something it was some ridiculous. Substantial. That is crazy. Uh, that is crazy. Simmermom says, I want to say a real quick thank you for the shout out the other day. I got five followers in less than 30 minutes. No problem, Simmermom. That's nice. what we do. In both Team MZ and the proper nerds, that's what we do. We we support each other. We boost other small streamers, new streamers, etc. Hell yes, hell yes. And uh, Solid Gamer says I have night shift next week, and I can come by next Friday your time if you're playing something. And I can tell you most likely I will be live. So thank you, Solid Gamer. We'll see you then. Take care, Ryan. Good seeing you, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, but I was I was playing a game. Oh hey, no, I thank was you, watching Ryan. someone. I, I want to say it was like Yo Mega or someone else in team. It was Yo Mega because you yep you posted the video. Dude, it was ridiculous. No way. He looked at the death cam, the death cam of the guy no way. who was like he was firing such long distance with an M4. It was ridiculous, yeah. and you can see as the recoil was going up, it was the the reticle was just snapping right back. And it wasn't yeah. snapping directly on the guy. It was snapping like two pixels above the guy, which is where it needed to be to hit it. Such a long range. And then he turns around and starts firing. And you I can have just, detected a new follower for the channel. You can just see the, the, the way the reticle just You can snaps. see it. Yep. It's like... Yep, you can, you can see it. Dude, that's, that's another reason why I stopped playing stuff like Call of Duty. Um, they can't stop the... They can't stop the quickscope. They can't stop like the, the 360 quick scope, like everybody says, where you're literally not even aiming, and then all of a sudden you you aim, and it's like your gun's here, but your scope is up here, and it, it comes down, and it's like before it even comes into focus, you're dead. Headshot. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this bullshit. I deleted it, and I I, I haven't played uh, Call of Duty since since before uh, Black Ops 3 now. Yeah. Because I'm like I'm like if if these game developers can't figure out how to stop the hacks why should i even give them the time of day yeah you know it's it's not fun to just get shit on all the time and the thing is it's not fun to win all the time either because you have to have times to lose well so it's like so I, I, did you ever play overwatch yes okay i still play overwatch, so several yeah. several members of the proper nerds and a lot of people in team mz love overwatch that's yes. one of those games that they they have really done first person shooting correctly because Blizzard is, like, really brings the hammer down on hackers. Like, oh, yeah. They are relentless. I don't know yeah. if you know this. So what happened was when the game came out, they had been tracking anyone that was using bots, and they didn't do anything for about three months. And they kept saying on the forums, like, people are bitching. They're like, don't worry. These people are going to get what's coming to them. We're, we're, we're on it. And people mm -hmm. were like, whoa, this game, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, right, it was right when the game went... Um, I think it was right when it went, like, a month after it had gone live, they did this insane ban wave where they banned, like, 30,000 accounts. And not only did they ban the accounts, they banned the IPs of those right. players. So those people then went out, bought a new copy of the game, installed a fresh copy of the game, logged on, played for five minutes, and then it was like, you're banned. And they're like, that's good. And, and and Blizzard was like, we told you guys, we are going to be aggressive. We are aggressively banning people that cheated our game. And now you don't have the problem with cheaters in that game. You really yeah. don't. Yeah, you really don't. And and I mean, it's the same for all of their games. I mean, they are they are really really strict with it when it comes to all that stuff. So I mean, that's that's what you want. But like PUBG, you know, I don't think. As much as they say they care, I don't. I don't think he does because the network are still link playing, established with another streamer. It's yeah, exactly, exactly. That's 
That's what it is, man. It's a sad so, fact, man. It, it is. They, they, Blue Hole Entertainment, or I think they changed their name to PUBG Entertainment, didn't they? It's PUBG Entertainment, a Blue Hole company. Yeah. Or something. Something along those lines. They don't care, and for, and they're never going to region lock China, even though that would be the oh. perfect answer. Do you know why? Because yeah. they're a Chinese company. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know they were uh, Chinese. Player company. unknown, Brendan, whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, he shopped that idea around, so he was one of the lead designers of H one Z one King of the Kill. Right. Right. And so he shopped around the idea of making a hyper realistic deathmatch battle royale style mode. And he shopped right. around, and Blue Hole was the first company to say, okay, but you got to come over here to China to make it. And if really? You, yeah. If That's, you, that part I didn't know. Yeah, if you ever see him with the developers, it's him and a bunch of short Chinese people. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. See, and it is what it is. I still play it. Um, the way the reason why I say it is you're never going to you're never going to get over hackers um, in any in any, like, instance. But you know, I like the game just a little bit. I'm not a big squad kind of guy. I don't like playing four people, but I'll do some duos. I'll do some singles. You know, it's just it's it's hard to it's hard to function though when you when you know that that shit's out there. Yeah. Well, Rock and Rage and I did duos on Saturday for an hour until my wrist started locking up. God, yeah. you know, if you if you can play that game and just have fun and not care about getting a chicken dinner, that game is so much fun. I think oh, a yeah. lot of people get frustrated because they're like, I've played this game for 150 hours and I still never got a chicken dinner. It's like, well, so what? Yeah. My thing is, it's like, I, I go into it thinking, if I'm not first, I'm last. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If I'm not first, I'm last. So why even bother? I'm not going to be first most of the time anyway because of the fact that I... I I get startled. I'm like, oh my god, there's somebody there. Oh shit! Like, I actually have a clip on my channel where I'm sitting there and, and I'm I'm all focused like this. I'm like I'm like going through, and all of a sudden I run past the wall, and there's a shotgun blast, and it's like boom, and in my headset I throw my mouse, and I'm like, oh shit, because it was loud. And I come back and I die. But I mean, I'm just like, it startles me when when you're like just running, and it's fun. Like that that to me is fun, but. Before the uh, before the update, man, that the lag in the frames was just it was too much for me to, to actually give a shit about. Well, now that my, they got it maxed out, I'm like good. My all time favorite clip that anyone ever clipped for me for PUBG, and like three different people clipped it, which was hilarious. Me and another <laughs> dude were dropping on the exact same area and looking for a weapon. Like we landed two feet away from each other, and we turn and we're sprinting looking for weapons, and there's nothing, there's nothing, and he sees a gun. And he's going for it, and it's closer to him. I see a pan. I grab the pan, and as he's <laughs> loading the clip into his gun and like bringing it around, I wham one shot him right in the head with the pan, and I'm like clang. And the, uh, it's without a doubt my favorite one... clip from PUBG. <laughs> the number one sentence that me and my friends say is, "Oh, I got a pan. Game over. Game yeah, rip everybody else. If you get a pan, you it's, win. It's so you win." You win. That's it. There is no other. No, you don't need to get a chicken. Why would you need a chicken dinner? You've got a pan. It's a yeah, magical exactly. cast iron pan that deflects bullets. Shit, those people need me because they need my pan to cook this chicken. Listen, <laughs> Rock and Rage says I talk to chat and then I die. Dude, it, oh my god, it was so funny. After we did duos, I was just hanging out in his chat talking. Twice he turns and he's reading something I wrote. Blah 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 blah, and you just hear blam, and he goes. Oh, and he's dead. Because he, <laughs> he was looking at chat not paying attention twice. Twice. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Some of us, our self-esteems are wrapped up in this garbage. Yeah. It's yeah. yellow gaming. What up, buddy? I used to be I used to be a big person into KD ratio, and I still kind of am. Like, when I, when I play with uh, Cat and I'm on Overwatch, like... You'll hear me start talking shit like crazy. I'll be like, oh, my God. <sighs> I got three kills and I've died 11 times already. What the fuck? And then, you know, I'm screaming my head off. But then at the end of the game, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Now, back then, I used to be like, right on it. Yeah, you, you got it, man. At the end of the day, you got to remember, we're playing these games to have fun, right? We're yes. just, yep. We just want to have fun. Uh and that's the thing I remember. That's why I refuse to play competitive at mode in Overwatch. I have detected a new follower yeah. for the channel. Thank you very much, Elo Gaming. Much appreciated. Uh, how do you get a custom bot name? So I uh, I use Streamlabs 
uh, chat. Uh, what, what are they called? Stream, Streamlabs chat? Streamlabs bot, I guess? I don't know. Streamlabs chat bot, I think? Streamlabs. It's got everything you need now. Streamlabs has its own OBS. It's got its own chat bot. That's all you need. You do have to sign up for a second Twitch account with a different email. So, like, I signed up for one named RevBot. And then the, the bot connects to that account. And that's the one doing all the talking. Yes, my bot is now attached to Dbox Alter Ego. So if anybody ever sees Dbox Alter Ego, screw that guy and ban him. <laughs> Dude, you were in my channel as Dbox Alter Ego the other day, like or Dbox yeah. Alt I, I thought it was, or it it used to be Dbox uh, Auto I, which used to be the bot, and I I named it Auto I is because he was automatically looking at the chat and doing stuff, but I. After being able to figure out I could change the name, I'm like, you know what? Alter Ego sounds much, much, much better. So I ended up doing the uh, the Alter Ego, and then now it's it's badass. But I have to use my bot when I'm at work because now that I'm affiliate, they have the, they have the Authy app mm -hmm. where you have to sign in. Well, most of the time I can't take my phone into work, so I can't sign in. So the only way I could talk to my favorite people like you, Lesane, Coyote Wildfire, Kairoki, all these other people, I mean, everybody I haven't named, it's hard to sign in with mine because I don't have my phone. So I just log into my bot's name and I use it. That's fine. It's all so good. Now, I, now I have this bit when I go into Coy uh, Coyote Wildfire stream, though, I have this bit where I, I sign into both accounts and then I trash talk myself back and forth. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> It gets the chat going pretty good. <laughs> oh, man, it's fun. The closest like I've ever it. done with, with that is for a little while, my wife had a Twitch account, and she lost the password. The and password, like, ah, yeah. Whatever, I don't really use it. Um, but there was one time when we were watching, I want to say Loina stream, and I was talking, and then my wife was, like, talking shit about me in chat. She's like, that rug guy's such an <laughs> asshole. What are you doing? <laughs> You know, speaking of Loina too, he, we had, him and I had a conversation on his live stream about VR. And I told him I bought one. He was like, VR's not going nowhere. It's a dead breed, just like Connect. This and the other thing. Like, I don't, I don't even think about VR. This and that. And then all of a sudden, Christmas time, he's like, oh my God, so I got a VR. Check out this game. Check out this game. I'm like, dude, I've been playing these games. I was trying to tell you to tune in and watch them, and you were telling me that it's basically shit. And now you're boasting <laughs> the same stuff I was trying to tell you about. So shout out to Lloyd. Hey, I was trying to tell you exactly what you know now. So there you go. It, I started it. It was me. <laughs> that, that is Loina. That is Loina in a nutshell. And I, I mentioned earlier, Loina was the very first guest on my first Revs Blaver. That's what we spent 45 minutes talking about was VR. And he was and, shitting all over it. I'm like, nah, dude, all you over know. It. It's it's early technology. It's gonna it's, get better. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I remember playing these VR headset games that the light came in the top, and it was just two images, and it was like a race car game where you would hold the controller, and then you'd have to have sunlight so it could see in the top of it, so you could. Do, and then now I, I was trying to tell him, yeah, no, I get it, but it's like you're looking at a, a full big screen, and he's like, yeah, I don't know, and then he's like, oh my god, VR, look at this. <laughs> Uh, Kairoki says, remember, every time Dbok1989 gives himself a damn shout-out in my channel, talk about abusing your mod power. Oh, I do shout myself out as soon as I hit that chat. That son <laughs> of a bitch. How dare he? But it, what, he has what a, abandoned me. What a that. shitty thing to do. <laughs> Who would ever do hey. something like that? <clears throat> Man, you know what? <laughs> what the Alert, Rev. Awesome. One of your viewers has awesome. just subscribed. Yo, it's Elo Gaming. Just subscribe. Can we get some big ups? Can we get some hype? Can we get some love in chat to it's Elo Gaming for subscribing to Twitch Prime? Elo Gaming, you get the big ups. Whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. Thank you so much, brother. Enjoy your dose, Rev. Yes. Whoop emote, and I'll also have you know you are you have just been subscriber thirty one this month. Uh, I don't know if I told you, Dbok. I decided this month instead of having some sort of goal, like you know, like oh, I'm saving for a video card or whatever, I'm yeah. going to see if I can't build my subscriber base. See if I can't. So I'm just, I'm not asking for money. You know, if you've got Twitch Prime, throw a sub my way. If I can get to 50 subscribers and maintain 50 subscribers for the next few months, I'm quitting my job and doing this full time. Yo. Let's go. So it's gonna, Let's go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really see over the next, like, 
four, five, six months. If I can get to 50 and hover around 50 or more. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell my school. See you guys. Not going to be, not going to be teaching here anymore. I, I, and you know what? You know what the plus side of that is? You ain't got to kill no more kindergartners. Uh, yeah, no more kindergartner deaths on my hands. No more coming no home more. with, you know, blood on my knuckles and kindergartner Zero. hair on my fingernails. <laughs> so thank you very much to It's Yellow Gamer. I normally do Let's stream uh, noon until 4 is my scheduled time. However, if I do go full time with this, that's got to get bumped up. I can't do four hours yeah. a day. I got to I gotta push it to six gotta hours a day. I do more than that. Right? Yeah, you gotta go. Um, you, gotta, uh, you would be subscriber number 31 for this month, Yellow. So I normally do noon to 4. Uh, today I started at 10 o'clock. I went 10 till 4. And I'm going to probably do, be doing that as long as Lassane is doing night streams. Because I get bored in the mornings otherwise. I tell you, man. I tell you, these night streams, I'm like, oh my god. I, I don't even want to stream because I just want to watch my people. Mm -hmm. It's like the one night, the one night. It, it's so funny because a lot of, uh, a lot of my viewership is from the proper nerds, obviously, because you guys are great and uh, a little bit from prepare from mediocre. Some of them are from uh, Team MC, but like most of the time, if there's something big going on, whether it be a drinking stream or somebody else, <laughs> I get, I get like nobody in my chat. I'm like, oh my god, what a slow night, <laughs> dude. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that happens, man. I, I know uh, tonight I had that problem where I was like, do I watch Lassane or do I watch Rock and Rage? They were both streaming. I'm like, uh-oh. Yes. I, I ended up watching Rock and Rage, but I know Lassane yeah. understands. Luckily, I have three monitors, so most of the time when that's going on, with my ultra-wide in front of me, I put two up, and then I put two on the other monitors, and I'm like just watching everybody, but that tends to make me go, you know what, do I even want to stream? Do I even want to? I just want to watch these people and, and, and talk to them. Yeah. We are getting to the end of our podcast. I, I feel like there's so much more I wanted to say. Uh, I know. But I'm going to go ahead and just take a moment and just for myself say, one of the other things sure. is I'm thinking about doing another, like, so I've got, I've got this podcast every Monday night, right? I've got the Team MZ podcast, which is normally Friday nights at 8. And then um, I'm thinking about adding a third podcast and doing it twice a month. And I'm thinking maybe Wednesdays opposite uh, the Finer Things podcast. Now, the reason why I would only do it twice a month instead of every week is because I want to put a lot more effort into it. And the reason I'm telling you this is I want to get your feedback on this to see what you think. I'm thinking about doing something called like uh, Stream Doctor or maybe uh, Stream Daddy's Advice or something along that lines where it's very focused and very prepared and it's about helping small streamers get off or even even mid-range larger streamers who think that there's a problem with their stream come in and it can be kind of a chat show with the with the the, the chat interaction and then i want to have a guest host and uh every week focus on one particular thing in regards to streaming like maybe how to use twitter might be like one night's topic or right um how to use overlays or you know whatever I think I honestly think that, that would go over very well. I think that you would get a pretty good turnout. There's a lot, a lot of times that people uh, don't know how to use OBS or don't know how to use something. And for somebody like you or I, it's simple because we've been doing it forever. So somebody just starting out, I think that would go over really good. People could jump in, and you could help them out. Yeah, like okay. And here's another thing. Like this is one of the things, big things I'd love to get across to people. I don't know how long kairoki has been streaming for, right? Because, mm -hmm. dude, I've got nine, meaning nine subscribers, because I was like, um, you know, when I said I, he was my third, uh, uh, ELO was my 31st sub. Right, right. Like, people don't understand that it's a lot of work. And there are a lot of people, like Debach, who have been doing it for years and are only yes. just now starting to feel the heat, right? Yes. Like, yep. I, I started in November of... 2016 yep you know it and those first three four five months there were plenty of times even five months in i'd do a four-hour stream and there would be no one in my channel the nobody. whole time nobody literally team mz and proper nerds was my final was my final goal to do something and if i told my wife if something doesn't happen between team mz and i mean i found you through team mz uh, through actually Lassane, 
but I, I found you guys and it's like I told them or I told my wife if I don't get going on this thing I'm done yeah. like I'm done even attempting to do it and I finally started getting some tread so I mean it's it's gotten very very good uh, Kairoki's dying in the chat right now if you see him he says you want to tell him about, Tell him, tell him, tell him. Um, so me and Kairoki has been in cahoots talking about starting a podcast. Uh, it's going to be the DNK podcast, and uh, we haven't actually set a full date yet, but it's basically going to be um, a banter cast, just pretty much like this one, because, uh, you know, just maybe invite some people and, and chat it out. So that's what he is over in chat going crazy about. Can I make a suggestion? Yes, you absolutely can. Instead of the DNK podcast, and I'll tell you why I don't Mm -hmm. like that. There's a very, very big uh, store chain called DNK. Oh, okay. Right? So, like Uh, that, right away, as soon as you said DNK, I'm like, hmm, like the clothing store? You know, like a little weird? (laughs) Right. How about this? Tell me what you think about this. All right, all right. The KD ratio with Kairoki and D-Bach. I like it. I'm just throwing I, it out there. You I, take it or don't. I like it. Yeah, I like, he said, take it or don't. I, 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 ain't, I ain't your boss. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just saying, uh, your gamers, the kill-death ratio, it seems like... We we like... went with the DK because of the logo. Uh, obviously, uh, 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 just like Sammy, my wife is a graphic designer who designs all my stuff, and we came up with a, a Donkey Kong logo that's... Pretty mm, close. That's good then. To the yeah, pretty close to the Donkey Kong logo, but enough different that obviously you know we're not gonna get in trouble or anything for it. But uh, it's I think you know I came up with it one day. I'm like, yo, Kairoki, why don't we just do this thing and see what happens? I said because it was shortly after I did the first palaver. So I'm like, oh my god, I love this so freaking much. We need to do something like this. This is crazy, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I live for Monday nights. This Dude, is, this is this is what I have the most fun with on Twitch. Yes. Like as much fun as it is to sit there and play video games, just being able to just chill and hang out and just shoot the shit with someone. Like we're already five minutes over over time. I know. And I was man, you need to like you need to like double it, I think. Because there's I've, so I've, much I've more tried we could talk about. I've tried yeah? it. Yeah? Yeah. I've tried doing longer form casts. An hour is the right time. Trust me. Yeah. Trust no, me. No, I hear you. I, I, I think on you. that note, too, we really should wrap it up. But we probably before should. we do, let me just say this. Yes. We're going to drop a host bomb on someone, so please don't go anywhere. Uh, when the raid kicks over, you'll automatically be shunted to the other person's channel. Go over, show them a little love, say hello, you know, show them some of that proper nerds, Team MZ love, and, uh, you know, just say a couple things. Hey, that's one of the big things, guys. Listen, that's one of the biggest things about Twitch. That little bit of support. Sometimes it's just five minutes in that person's channel, and it makes their day. It does. Uh, You heard D-Bot just saying how he was ready to quit and give up if he didn't get any traction. It wouldn't have been the first time I was ready to quit either. Dude, like, just a little, hey, how's it going? What are you playing? Oh, I've never played this. Or, oh, I love this game. Or, oh, have you gotten to the point where blah, blah, blah. Just five minutes. And then, you know, if you if you decide they're not for you, no problem. Move on. If you like them, toss them a follow, you know. But we're going to yeah. we're gonna go ahead and drop a raid bomb on someone. But before we do... Do Network you, link established uh, with another streamer. Oh, Swango TV, thank you so much for the host, but we are just wrapping up. If Ooh. you want to host into someone else, I totally understand. We are just wrapping up, Swango, so uh, we're just talking about finding someone else to host into. So if you want to find someone else to host into, that's fine. Otherwise, your viewers are fine to come over here and then likewise go, go wherever. To whoever I'm going to host into. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the host, Swango. You're an amazing, amazing person. Uh, and, uh, I got a chance to check out Swango the other day. Dude, you want to talk about a smooth motherfucker? Dude, his voice, he's got, like, that radio smooth voice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. So. I need somebody like that so I can do some announcements. Yes. (laughs) Yes. All right. So, uh, you know, actually, I know exactly who I'm going to host into, too, because they just went live. Oh, good. And, uh, like, during this podcast. And uh, I'm not going to explain why I'm hosting this person. 
but there's a Perfect. very good reason I am. I just got to host it. But, so you've done this before, yes. so you know why, um, you, you know why it is, or, or you know uh, how we end it. So it's not going to be that yes. fun surprise, but we right. like to, um, we like to end the Res Blabber a very simple way, which is to give our guest the last word. The last word, yes, and I'm a little bit more prepared this time because I knew it was coming. <laughs> so for the last word, I want everybody in chat to uh, check out Propernerds.com. And if you have not yet joined the Discord, join it because this guy got me into it and it's the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. So go ahead and join that at the Discord and uh, uh, I hope you know you all will. So, there we go. All right. <laughs> so, on that note, we will get on out of here. Good night, everyone. Rev is logging out of the system. Please stand by for a raid on another Twitch streamer. Establishing connection now. Please hold. <laughs>